we are on the rooftop of our hotel after a night of being out on Bourbon Street here in New Orleans. But we were just kind of passing through and just uh, hang out just briefly in New Orleans, but we were ready to get on up, move about, and hit the road again, get out and see new things and do new things. So there's a little view of the city there in New Orleans. Right there, you can see the skyline across all around. Back in the distance, you can see the river, you can see the bridges, and Melinda Dance. So, we headed on down south into Venice, Louisiana. And that's probably, I don't know, I'd say maybe an hour and a half run south of the city, follow along by the Mississippi River. It's really nice, and we're heading to Venice because that is a fishing capital of the world. Guess you know you're all the way down in the deltas and swamps when uh, <laughs> the road turns just to water. So is this brackish or salt? You wanna get out and taste it? Most of this is all um, brackish or fresh water down in here. said there's a bump it wasn't lying Man, check out her <laughs> seafood stuff, baked potatoes, <laughs> big old shrimp, and everything in there. Yeah. Man, what that got a cream sauce all around with that. I got redfish grill. And Melinda got redfish also grill with vegetables down here in Venice, Louisiana. Now you got the uh, shrimp poor boy, shrimp poor boy, huh? Man, I didn't get a picture of it, boy. We got these. Uh, boudin sausage egg rolls man they were super good right here on the menu cajun egg rolls two dip boudin wrapped egg rolls man oh man all right it's really good we got a little bit of gator right here yeah try the sauce i'm telling you it's so good they're different they're different mm. uh -huh. yeah that's that's not just the regular gator meat that's like it's been processed. You can taste a little celery or something in there too. Yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like the way they do crab meat. You know, like with stuffed crab and all. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Where the other has just been straight alligator meat we've been eating, which it's okay, but you know, this. I like this. This is really good right here. Mm. I'm really impressed with her, her big old baked potato over there. That ain't no joke. If you eat all that, I'm gonna be impressed. <laughs> That's a huge potato. Man. It is. Oh, and then you, I didn't see hid, hidden onion rings over here. Halibut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mix now, mix. <laughs> All right, so we headed on down there to Venice, Louisiana. It's deemed one of the fishing capitals of the world. And I fished it there. It is really good fishing. Now, we didn't have any kind of gear with us, or we didn't have anything chartered or planned or nothing. We're just out exploring and checking things out. And being that Paul is an avid fisherman, thought he would really appreciate that place. 
being that Melinda grew up on the coast and all and loves fish so much I thought she'd appreciate it too. And maybe so even Anna. Anna's a little bit more of like a farm girl there. She didn't grow up right on the water as Melinda did, but we all know them Filipino girls really like to eat their fish. So we hung out right there and we waited for some of the boats to come in to see their catch and uh, see the varieties of fish and what's there and just talk and explore a little bit, get a little bit of information, maybe plan for a future trip there in uh, Venice out maybe to Blue Water or up what they call the inland waters there in the Delta and Bayous. Both are really good fishing. So while we're hanging out there, uh, Melinda, she wasn't shy. She spoke up on something and it was kind of cool what happened next. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wrong I'll let that joker get away. Oh, he's got a big fish coming. So what you do with their head? They throw them. Yeah. Grab bait or throw them out. Yeah, she, she's uh, grown up her whole life right on the beach in the Philippines. Over. Oh, I, know, I, know a lot of, I got a lot of friends from the Philippines and they're the same thing. You know, they'll get, come get the head. Yeah. The offshore yeah. boats are, you know, when you get the big fish fish? Yeah. Maybe we just... We just uh, get the guts, you know, throw it, but the rest of that we eat everything. Yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you scale it all. Oh, wow, it's a lot of waste. <laughs> Even the heavy things. <laughs> yeah, she grew up right in a fish camp, right in a fishing village. Yeah. Oh, well, and probably about an hour they're gonna, like, a lot of tuna, all kinds of Be rolling in here. Tuna in the Mahi Mahi is gonna be really good later. Wow. And then Amberjack season. So, how much you sell for one of these here? Don't they don't sell this belongs to a customer oh, okay. yeah, they, he, he, they went area. fishing and then they bring it up here and they clean it for them game wardens check it as soon that's those two guys that was in the brown uniforms okay they check everything as soon as it comes in you check it, hey, you, you yeah, it's all legal sizes and what you got and all of that for conservation purposes too and then uh then these guys yeah, we'll bag it up. If they want to vacuum seal it, we'll ship it out, whatever. whatever yeah, they, they get it all prepared. Sometimes they want it like, you know, with the scale, you know. Yeah. The smaller ones. But you have also like, um, you know, you can put a lot, right? You have, you have a maximum. Yeah, you have limits and all. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, for this, it's like five per person. How oh, five per person for this? Yeah, right the trout at the first for the pepper trout, that's like uh, 25 per person. Guys, you want fish? You can make a fish soup here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know, hey, we love it. They like the grouper. The grouper. Yeah. yeah. Especially if it's fresh, oh, we love to make soup for you. You got the cooler one loaded up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I've only fish on meat on one for you. Huh? <laughs> you have a lot of fish inside. Yeah, right here. Oh, that's the best. I'm telling you. They don't waste nothing. Is that a sheep head? Is this a sheep head? Yes, sir. Yeah, sheep head and flounder. That's the best eating they got right here, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually get those eating. on our beach over now, there this, in the Philippines. This, I'm going to scale this and just cut the head. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you ask him how he wanted it. Oh, I love cooking those, boy. Stuff mm. that sucker up. That is some good eating right there. And I cooked it up our way for her over in the Philippines. Boy, you liked it too, didn't you? Yes, it's she was in. Yeah, and when I've, I've got Cajun spices and stuff all over that I brought. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
that I've taken to the Philippines, man. She's addicted to that Cajun spices now, oh, man. She's cooking everything. It's she's cooking all... everything now over there with it. <laughs> That's her new salt and pepper. Tony's yeah, on yeah. Tony's, I love your mama. Yeah, we do videos. Salt with a little flavor. That's all. I sold a bunch of Slappy Mamas. I was showing it in our videos, and man, people were buying it online. I brought. Yeah, yeah, you got some too, didn't you? And you got some, boy. That Slappy Mama should gave me commission on that deal. Yeah, it'd be good lots to be. Yeah, we got crab fishing now coming and get some. He time. said in about an hour the boats be rolling in with tuna and all here. Oh well, yeah, I've been catching a bunch, bunch of swordfish. Swordfish been So where you you which place here that you can buy the seafoods here? Oh they got like a shrimp dog gotta sell some shrimp, but that's all they have. Yeah, I remember going over and buying from some Vietnamese over at Shrimp before. Yeah, there's, uh, there's Shunko right there. I'm right by the corner. Yeah. They got none, they normally sell big shrimp. Yeah. Well, as far as fish, as far as fish like New Orleans, it's like you can have to go to a fish house there. Yeah, yeah. She is all charter. Yeah, it's a, this is all people coming in from their own personal trips. Yeah, personal trips. Yeah, these are personal yeah, catches. Yeah, they're paying, what is it, like 700 for a trip or whatever. Yeah, that's some expensive the fish. Yeah. <laughs> they think if you go on no catch, nothing would happen. <laughs> yeah, my buddy just got a, in the Cape Cod Bay, he just got a 109 inch to the yellow fish. Yeah. Beautiful fish, they have to If you pay 700 and you cut, if you cut a tuna, it's worth it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hear that. Yeah, it's worth it then. That's right. You can get a lot of steaks off of that a lot of milk. Well, you don't know. I mean, it's swordfish, they could have. Oh, 
I'm happy to get that, you know. I think you're a little happy, aren't you? That is. Man, there's some nice meat still in there. Mm -hmm. I look like a crazy Asian. <laughs> Babe? What? what about these? You want them also? It's good to feed the crab. That's nasty. No, it's good to feed the crab. I'm telling you, boy. Yes. She won it all. <laughs> Mel, help me out. Hi, right, baby, baby. Are you happy, Mel? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> I proud myself. Yes, she done slide her way into a bunch of tuna. Man, that is nice meat on that belly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Melinda, she she hit them up there, and boy, that guy hooked her up. Man, we could have, we probably could have got more if we had had coolers. Because I opened my mouth, I said, "Wow, you just wasted that one." I said, "In Philippines, all, uh, all of the fish we cooked that one, uh, you know, except the intestine." Mm -hmm. And she said, "Oh yeah, I know that I have some few friends Filipino. Yeah, they do that one." And I said, "And then the head too." Yeah, I mean, I can I can hook you up. You know, there's a lot of boat coming for. It. I said, "Hey, yeah." <laughs> <laughs>